Is there an unofficial DC Marvel crossover in the works? Could the walls between realities be breaking down? Usually a question like that would mean some interdimensional death and destruction was on the horizon for our favorite comic book universes, but this time it might be signaling something a little more fun. A crossover! And not just some boring old intercompany crossover like when the X-Men meet the Avengers over at Marvel or when Elmer Fudd meets Batman over at DC. Apparently that was a thing. <laughs> That's really weird. No, we're talking about a Marvel DC mashup the likes of which we haven't seen in over a decade. Yes, it was 15 years ago that Marvel and DC last crossed paths in the pages of 2003's JLA Avengers. Prior to that, these kind of crossovers were a little more commonplace. Starting in the 1970s, it seemed like every few years Spider-Man would make his way to Metropolis or the Joker would dose the Hulk with mind control gas. Heck, there was even that time that Thor ran right into Clark Kent while trying to use the whole glasses disguise. <laughs> Embarrassing. This all culminated in the mid-90s when the two companies merged literally and created Amalgam, a shared imprint that published comics mashing up two characters from the separate universes, resulting in classic, unforgettable titles like Dark Claw and Lobo the Duck. After that, it seemed like Marvel and DC would be as inseparable as Archie and the Punisher, but sadly, things went sour between the two of them in the early 2000s, and while there's no official account for why the relationship fizzled, industry rumors place a lot of the blame on then-Marvel editor-in-chief Joe Quesada, who in an interview compared DC's mishandling of Superman and Batman to two well-endowed porn stars who couldn't rise to the occasion. Ooh. <laughs> After that, who can really blame DC for wanting nothing to do with Marvel? And since then, the only contact the two of them have had are passive-aggressive swipes in their respective franchises. Heck, it was just two weeks ago that Deadpool dunked on Cable by asking if his dark and gritty demeanor was better suited for the DC Cinematic Universe. So dark? You sure you're not from the DC Universe? But we've also witnessed the ice thing a bit, like when MCU head Kevin Feige praised DC's Wonder Woman last summer. And now, after all this time, it looks like they're ready for another big comic crossover, or at least they're ready to kinda sorta think about it. In the last few weeks, the two companies have been releasing a bunch of books that have featured sneaky little nods to their distinguished competition. It all started in the pages of Marvel's Infinity Prime Countdown number one, where we're shown the reality stone being held by several different Captain Marvels across several different realities. Only one of them appears not to be a Captain Marvel from the Marvel Universe, but the Captain Marvel from DC, who is now known as Shazam. Sure, we only get to see a sliver of the character, but that boot, cape, and costume are distinctly his. And we even see this tease of him crop up again in last week's Infinity Countdown one-shot, Captain Marvel number one. DC quickly returned the nod in Action Comics issue number 998. In it, Booster Gold jokingly refers to his computer sidekick Skeets as Alfred when Skeets protests the new nickname Booster responds with, not like I can call you Jarvis, whole other timeline, in reference to the Avengers resident butler. This seemingly confirms that the DC and Marvel universes are just tangent timelines of one another and Booster is aware of both of them. And now Marvel has come back with yet another shout out to DC in the final issue of its Lockjaw miniseries. The end of the story finds the teleporting pooch using his powers to transport a fight to a variety of different dimensions. Amongst them, we see one labeled The Ultimate Universe and Duck World, home of Howard, not Donald. Although now that Disney owns Marvel, who can really say that for sure? That would be crazy pants. But the name of the final universe gets redacted. However, it's pretty obviously DC since we see the boots of Superman and Wonder Woman dangling in midair. Now there's no telling how official or unofficial any of these references really are. They could be canon or they could just be writers and artists expressing admiration for their friends across company lines. I'm leaning towards that. Either way, it's pretty cool that they're happening at all and that they're happening in such a good-natured manner. It would seem to signal the end of the 15-year-old feud that have kept these characters from appearing alongside one another. And while this may not mean that the two companies are planning any kind of crossover, just yet, it definitely means they'll be way more open to the idea should it ever arise in a conference room. At the very least, it's nice to know that they're back on good terms because do we really want to be living in a universe where Captain America and Superman hate each other? I mean, no, I meant no. 
Now that really does seem like the darkest possible timeline. Well, what do you folks think? Are you happy to see Marvel and DC bearing the super hatchet? Do you think this could mean an official crossover in the near future? And what characters are you dying to see meet up? I'll tell you who I don't want to see meet up. Storm and Wonder Woman, because that whole thing was BS. Wonder Woman would absolutely have kicked Storm's ass. Anyway, let's discuss. Hmm. Be sure to like, subscribe, and smash that little bell to get notified every time we drop a video. And if you missed our Week in Review Roundup show, Nerdist News What the Friday, you can always check out the audio podcast completely for free over on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or anywhere fine podcasts are found. <laughs>